Hi, I'm Teal Shark, and this is the Teal Toriel on how to lob the puck. One of the first things you're going to want to practice doing is just getting a decent lob. You're going to engage right bumper, puck, and stick out to 3 o'clock. If you're right handed, roll it back, aim, and lob. exiting the zone and you want to get back into the zone, lob it up off the glass. But the way you're going to want to practice it, you watch, you're going to engage right bumper, put it out, roll it back, aim, wherever you want, right at the net, and lob it. Let's practice that a couple times first before you get into where you're gonna do it from. So again, puck, roll it out to the side. It's rolled out to the side, you're rolling it back, aim, engage, or one, or I'm sorry, right bumper, whatever you wanna call it. Flick up, just like you would on a wrister. Place it in the corner. You wanna get into the zone, get to the red line. You get to the red line, Hold the puck out to the side the same way. They're not going to let you get past right. Lob it into the corner. It's a great dump. Your teammates will grab it. If they're pushing you out of the zone, you want to get back into the zone. Or they push you all the way into your zone. Lob off the glass. It works everywhere other than in the O zone. In the O zone, if you push it, you'll actually get some weird things that happen. You can do that too. So it's actually worth practicing. If you want to make sure to rim it down past the things, engage the lob button the same way. Engage the lob, the ozone. It goes high enough to where it'll get over that puck. Best places you're gonna do it from though, is if you're a defenseman and they win a face off to you, you're gonna find yourself right here. What you wanna practice is Spinning in place and lobbing it high and to the opposite side. When you do that, your winger on that side will usually be able to get to the puck. If they're not, they usually can also wave off, they'll wave off icing a lot of times. So what you want to do is you want to get to where you're going to get it. Everybody tries to pressure you. What you want to do is turn and lob. You can turn away, you can turn that way. But you want to practice that because the faster you can get the lob off, the less chance they have to take it away from you. And the more air you get on it, the better. So the other thing is if you're on your other side, if, you, if they win it to you and you're right-handed here, what you do is to win it, grab it, lob it. Now, everybody say you're going to ice it. No, because as you get more comfortable, the more and more comfortable you get with the lob, the more precise you can be down here, aim it left, hits the glass. That's a lot of trouble for the opposing team because sometimes they think it's going out. Now you want to throw it probably a little more north-south so you don't get a penalty, but the more you practice it, the more, look at, you don't want to throw here, you don't really want to throw there, you kind of want to throw about there, you know, and then you got to roll it back and lob it. So again, you're skating, you're trying to gain line out, right bumper, off the back boards, off the back wall, you can actually go pick it up. Do it again. They push you out of the zone, your team tags up, lob it back over to the left. One of your forwards is going to come in here and get it. pushing you. They got pressure on you, they push you over to the boards, roll it back, off the glass and out. Your forward gets it, no icing, a lot of times they'll wave off the icing anyway. But you gotta practice it. We're gonna go through it one more time real slow. Three o'clock, right bumper engaged. You see it here? 
be the right stick. We want to pull it all the way back. We want to pull it to six o'clock. We want to aim where we want our lob, and then we want to flip. While we're keeping hold of right bumper the whole time. Don't let go of R1. Keep R1 engaged until the puck's gone. So R1's still engaged, still engaged, lob. Get back into the zone. R1's engaged, engaged, lob. Back into the zone. Now, what we'll do is we'll show you how you can use these lobs in game to get into the defense, or I'm sorry, into the offensive zone for your team and out of the defensive zone when you're getting pressured. Show you how to use them in game situations. I'm lobbing this one right to the front of the net. There we go. Clip that, eh?